So, I've done a bit of leveling since the last time. Let me show you what I did. Ramza is now a ninja, which is an awesome job class. Took a little bit of leveling, I had to get Geomancer level 2 like I said before. Uh, I had to do Archery level 3 and Thief level 4. Well worth it though, this is a really good job class for him. More importantly, I got from the Thief class move plus 2, which is very good. So he's set for now. He needs a counter ability, he'll get one soon. My monk now has Chakra and Revive, which is good. They have to be on the same uh, vertical slope as the uh, character you're trying to revive, though, which can be a little weak, but still a good move. My wizard... Same spells. Now has magic attack up, though, which is very good. I'll be using that... now. And my summoner has Moogle, Ramu, and now Golem, which is an awesome spell. It's really going to help in the couple battles that I've got coming up, actually. Shares damage with your characters, basically shielding them. Everybody on the map. And I think that's it. Yep, should be. Oh, I also got a black chocobo. The more you walk around, you have a possibility of getting an egg, getting higher level chocobos and stuff. Not really useful, I'm not going to use them. So, I'm going to try and go ahead and continue on with the story, but I'm going to get into a battle. Bummer. Well, I'll be able to demonstrate some of my cool new abilities. Spider. I'm starting to like Spider. Look at that. I think the range on the throw ability that Ninja gives is five. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Wow. Let's just go ahead and move five then. I also give that monk uh, the archer ability charge. It was better than item. Potions are getting kind of useless now. My two magic users are getting to be quite awesome. I got Wave Fist for this guy too, so we could attack from range, finally. Oh wait, no I didn't. Okay, never mind. Look at that movement range, it's unbelievable. And great thing about ninjas, they can attack two times. Once you combine ninja swords, they get really, really powerful. Or I think you can uh, put on the knight's ability equipped sword, and put on two Knight Swords, and that's even better. Let me get my wizard in here. 
Let's see how much damage he does with that. I think they're weakened. Yep. Ridiculous. It's a good thing we leveled up because we're gonna have a pretty tough battle coming up, actually. We're only about level 10. Still haven't leveled too much. I want to keep it a little interesting. But the next couple fights can be extremely, extremely hard if you don't prepare. That's really all this game is about, preparing. And when you've played it as many times as I have, you know how to do that. <clears throat> and let's hope that we don't get into a fight. I am really unlucky today. Tree with pink hair. I don't even remember what those are called. Hmm. Okay. Well, this should be easy. Oops, he did. I want instant transmission. I think time mages actually have that. Costs a crap load of JP though. I think I might show off Golem right now. Let's do it. It costs a ton of MP, but it's totally worth it. Just try to get countered. Um, I don't like trees. I don't like hippies. Counter. Doesn't work on counter, I guess. I swear it did. And I love that this guy has chakra now. One of the best abilities in the game. Golem doesn't work on ranged attacks like that, I believe. Or magic. I'm not sure about magic. Actually, no. I think it's just physical attacks that aren't counters. That magic stack up is just awesome. It's a killing machine. What the hell is that? Ugh. Well, I guess I'm not even going to get physical attack once in this whole battle. So we're not even going to get to see Golem. Oh, might... Might happen now. Of course not. That's annoying. <laughs> 